Hi everyone, let's build a mini tank! And now that we have everything on the table, let's get to it! <laughs> it seems that I didn't think this through. And Spacer! Wait, 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 wait. The spacer. <laughs> I have already gone back and forth a few times assembling and disassembling everything. It's quite entertaining. Uh, and these screws in here are not accessible when I uh, install the idlers. So you have to tension the belt before installing the side plates and the idlers, which is not ideal. So for the first time, I already thought of this in advance. So I designed these extra parts in here that have two extra holes that will allow for the removal of this idler in here, giving you access to those bolts in case you need to tension the belt when everything is assembled. But I will go with the difficult ones. Let's, let's, let's try this. <laughs> I also have to install an extra spacer in here because when fastening this rod in here, everything gets compressed and these walls in here give in. So I, I did put an extra, an extra reinforcement spacer in here. Whew. 
<laughs> well, this already feels really nice on my hands, uh, but before we put some tracks on it, let me talk to you about this video sponsor, Dot Space. I moved to Ivan Miranda Dot Space. Dot Space domain extension highlights your unique space on the internet, and it's likely that your primary choice for the domain name will be available on Dot Space. Dot Space domain extension is perfect for creatives, real estate content creators, designers, freelancers people who want to create their portfolios. Thanks to its versatile nature, the .space domain extension fits perfectly with any and every industry. A .space domain name can help you build your amazing online brand by making it stand out from competitors. Thanks a lot to .space for sponsoring this video, don't forget to check the link in the description, and now let's throw some links on that tank. I've pre-cut all the pins that will lock each link on the thread. You have seen me before uh, join links together and I've either used end caps or screws, but I've came up with a new design that requires nothing else than the pin. Let, let me show you a 3D image of what I've done because I cannot do a cross cut of the can. The pin is inserted through a bend at the beginning of the link and once the pin has gone past through that vent, it locks in a small notch below it and will not come out unless you put something through a hole in the opposite side, which makes it really, really convenient. So let's see how that works. So nice. Let's try and put this on the mini tank. I'm one link short. Blink. And one thread is. <laughs> And this one is also one link short. And click. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, those are pretty tight already. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's put now the lid on top. And that there is the closing mechanism. And this will keep the lid shut. <laughs> Now that it has all the parts in and it has the looks, let me put some RC stuff in it and see if it works.
welcome to my very early voice. <laughs> okay, I've done a few test runs and uh, everything seems to be more or less okay, but the, the interior of the tank is really packed. I don't have enough time for my ESCs and my batteries in here. It's kind of like jump in there. So I've, I've made a weirdly tall uh, cover and I will use this one to keep testing. It's, it's and, and I've added a few holes for ventilation and are going through the thing, more in the back. I've managed to cram everything back inside, so let's do some tests to see, to see how it performs. So it's machine, machine. Let's start with the going around an empty spool. Not bad, not bad. Let's try pushing an empty spool. Let's make one test that will, will prompt those comments about TPU or, or flexible filament threads. Drifting! A little bit of fake outside because <laughs> there is no outside anymore. Fake outside, success! Not as fun as the big one. <laughs> Quite fun. Mini tank climbing into a bigger tank challenge. Fail. <laughs> Smaller step. It's not a failure, it's a safety feature. <laughs> TPU threads, flexible filament, Iva. Something, so not sex, but something. That is something. And as the last test, we are gonna make a speed test. It's gonna be appalling because those those with the threads don't grip on the floor. It will be much faster on the sand, but we are gonna give it a go and try not smashing against anything in the shop. <laughs> So, it works! If you liked it and want to build your own, I left a link to my website on the description. Thanks a lot to DotSpace for sponsoring this video. And thanks a lot to all my Patreon supporters. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. And now, please go and make something! Thank <laughs> you.